Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Clang, and welcome to Miss Bogan's classroom. Today we are going to have another tutorial, which is the Ed Puzzle. If you like using video lessons to your class, this is very perfect for you. But before that, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe. So there you are. We are going to discuss today at Puzzle Tutorial for Teachers. So you need to log in or to go to the Edpuzzle website. So if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up. Click that sign up. Okay, it says here start Edpuzzle, stop boring classes in their tracks. So you will sign up as a teacher or as a student. So since you're a teacher, of course, you are going to sign up. I'm a teacher. In here, there are two ways that you can sign up. You can um, sign up with your Google account, or you can sign up with Edpuzzle. But since I will be using uh, Google Classroom, I will sign up with my Google so that it's easy for me to import my Google Classroom. There you are. So since I already have um, an account in Edpuzzle, you can see here my school. And then you will see here my content. And then you will see here the curriculum, the home, this is the home. And there are popular channels right here. Okay, so you have Edpuzzle, YouTube, Khan Academy, National Geographic, TED Talks, Veritasium, number file, crash courses. So you can use videos from these popular channels. On this side, you can you can see here the blue button which says add content. I will show you that later. And then you can um, check this one, the yellow one, check school plans. Basically, what I'm going to show you today is just a basic account. All right, so this is just for free. So since it's only for free, you can only have maximum of 20 videos in your content. Anyway, you can like delete it and then add another one, okay? And then you will see here the content. So this is the content, your home. You can see your grade book, okay? So the, um, all the activities that you're going to do with your class will be graded and you can see here on this side or, or in this part and then my classes okay so you can add new class or you can um, import your google classroom okay before i show you that i will go back to home okay so these are all the contents available so as you can see so this one is just um a sound that contains audio interactions, meaning there will be voiceover. Because in Edpuzzle, you can add voiceover and questions. In here, as you can see, this um, symbol shows that this video contains questions. There are nine questions attached to this video. Okay, so now let's go to curriculum. So the curriculum, so there, there could be elementary school, middle school, and then high school. So since I'm in middle school, I will view this content. So you have here different contents. There is special education, P and health, world languages, science, social studies, ESL, ELA, social emotional, electives, and math. So there are a lot. Now, since I'm a science teacher, I will be using science, okay? So there are also choices. So you have cool videos, STEM, science fair, earth science, life science, physical science, and intro to science. So these are the content that uh, is available with Edpuzzle. But if you know what you're going to uh, discuss, you can just simply type 
in the search bar. So say, for example, simple machines search. Okay, so these are the, um, the videos that you can use for your, um, for your class. Okay. All right, next is the school. You can see here, my school, Western Harnett Middle School. So these are the content that is made by the teachers from our school. There you are, okay? And also next is my content. So this is my content, okay? And then, like what I've said earlier, so these are the, this symbol shows that there are questions and notes in the video. Okay, so I will show you first a short video. So let's say this one. Okay, so in the video, so there is three questions. It could be multiple choice or notes or open-ended question. So as you can see, there is assign, edit, duplicate, and delete. You can assign this to your um, Google Classroom. I will show you later how to import your um, Google Classroom from Ed, uh, to Edpuzzle. So now let us see this one. The potential energy of an object due to gravity depends on the object's height and weight. There you are. So the video will pause, and then there is a question in the middle of the video. So example, what does an object potential energy depend on? So there are choices. Okay, so let's say height and weight. There you are. Automatically, you will see, or the student will see, if they got it correct or not. And then you will see continue. An increase in either of these will increase the object's potential energy. A skier at the top of a small slope has less potential energy than a skier of the same weight who is at the top of a higher slope. Similarly, if two skiers are at the top of the same slope, the skier who weighs more has more potential energy. So there you are. If two objects are at the same height, which one? has the most potential energy, the one with greatest greater mass or greatest mass. Let's see. There you are. When these skiers begin skiing down the hill, their potential energy changes to kinetic energy. Okay. Let's say that's kinetic energy. There you are. Okay. Now, after you check the video, Okay, you can assign it to your class. So there you are. It could be assigned to class. We haven't uh, made or import the class. And you can do public links, meaning it could be also um, available to the public. All right. You can also turn on the caption here. And then, of course, you should turn on um, the prevent skipping so that the student will answer all the questions in the video. There you are. Okay. Now, going back, okay, you can also search it from here. Let's say I want potential and kinetic energy since there it's already in there. Okay. So you can choose from here. If you don't see any marks or symbol in here, therefore there is no questions. Uh, written in there okay so now let's i will show you how to add content create a video okay let's say i will use the atmosphere song that's my student's favorite okay and then you will just click edit so there is a cut, you can cut the video, you can just use portion of the video or you can use the whole video. Next, voiceover, you can pause and start recording um, for some explanation. And then questions. Questions could be multiple choice questions 
open-ended questions, and also you can put note for your students. Okay, let us do an example. So I will play the video and I will pause where I think I can put a question. Troposphere life will be found some warmth, the ocean and ground. Okay, so let's see. I'll make a multiple choice question in here. So in here, you can put the question right here so you can um, make or change the format, bold, italicized, underline. If you are doing math, superscript, subscript here, you can put link picture and um, equation. And here, so these are your multiple choice. So as you can see, there are check mark and um, cross mark in here. So let's say this is the area where you're gonna put your correct answer, you, it should be correct, all right? And if it's wrong, it should be uh, wrong. So you can just change it right there, okay? So let's say question, um, which layer of atmosphere where life can be found? Let's say here, troposphere, okay, and then mesosphere. Save. There you are, and then you will just click continue. I'll tell you, breathable gases. And you can pause, you can add note. You got this. Love, Miss Billion. Something like that. There you are. So that's it. I will click finish. Okay, so let's say you already made that one. All right, so let me show you the my classes. So for my classes, you can add new class or um, Google Classroom, meaning you will import your Google Classroom in Edpuzzle. Usually I choose this one. I will choose my tutorial class. This is the Google Classroom I made for my tutorial and then import class. And there you are. So you have your tab for due assignments. When the assignment is due, you can put or not put the due date and then the students. And here you, go, you will see the name of the students and their email addresses. Okay, now let me just show you how to assign homework or the Ed Puzzle. I'll go to my content and then let's say I will use this one, the video that we used earlier assign okay i will choose a tutorial class and then assign there you are and then you can click post on google classroom there you are and then i will go to my google classroom i just need to refresh it there you are i just posted this one there you are so also, you can check your their grades in um, Gradebook tab in Edpuzzle, and that's it. So easy, you will enjoy the video lessons, the students will enjoy the video lessons, and also you can add formative assessments. So that's it. There you are, guys. That's the Ed Puzzle tutorial. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe. Thank you. Bye.